So corn rootworm can be a very devastating insect for growers. The adult beetles lay their eggs in late summer, early fall. Those eggs overwinter in the soil. They hatch typically late May, early June. And once those eggs hatch, the larva move to corn roots and they start feeding. And this is an example of what can happen with corn rootworm larva. They can prune these roots, chew them down. You see the damage here. That damage can cause the, reduce the plant's ability to uptake water and nutrients, which therefore can reduce yield. But one of the things it can also do is it can affect a farmer's ability to harvest. Um, lots of times when these roots are compromised, you get a windstorm come along, the plants will root lodge. And lodge laying over corn makes it much more difficult to harvest. So corn rootworm, it can be a very devastating insect. Uh, there's estimates, they, they refer to it as the billion dollar bug. Estimates are that it costs growers over a billion dollars every year, either through reduced yield or the cost of control. So it's important that we keep providing ways for growers to manage corn rootworm to maximize their profitability. One of the things that's been really popular the last few years is biotechnology products that use BT proteins. And there's been a number of those that have been introduced over the years. Uh, the first one was roughly 19 years ago that it was introduced. But these BT proteins have been very effective over the years at controlling corn rootworm and allowing growers to manage corn rootworm. However, the longer some of these products are out, sometimes you can see resistance or reduced efficacy to develop. So it's always important that we continue to bring new technologies to help manage it. And that's one of the products that we just introduced this year brings one of those new technologies. And that product is SmartStacks Pro. So traditional, if we look at most of the products that are on the market, this will be a competitive product. Um, this product, Chrome, has two BT proteins. And you can see there's still some damage on these. But by introducing this new mode of action that doesn't rely on BT proteins, we get a higher level of control. And so this is SmartStacks Pro. And if you look at these roots, you really don't see very much damage, very, no pruning, very little feeding damage. And that's one of the things that we see. It's very consistent. It does, SmartStacks Pro does have two BT proteins, but it also has a new third mode of action that's based on RNAi technology. It works in a completely different way than how BT proteins work. BT proteins, once ingested, they bind to the midgut of the rootworm larva and cause pore formation. So the contents leak and that leads to death of the insect. With RNAi technology, a DV sniff 7 double-stranded RNA is produced in the root tissue. And when the corn rootworm larva feed on that and ingest that, it interferes with a RNA pathway and that's where we get the term RNA interference, the I or RNA I, the I stands for interference. It interferes with the production of an essential protein that is required for that rootworm larva to survive. And so it interferes with that production and causes it not to be produced, which causes death of the insect because again, it's essential. And it's been proven, you know, we've been looking at it for a number of years and it's proven to be really effective. And so we're very excited, SmartStacks Pro, this is the first year that we have launched it. Um, we're really excited to get it in the hands of the growers so they can see the benefits that we've been seeing the last few years in our research trials. When we think about corn rootworm, we primarily think of the Midwest. We think of Illinois, Indi or excuse me, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Colorado, Minnesota. So typically the central corn belt is where we really see corn rootworm issues. And that's mainly northerns and western corn rootworm are two, the two predominant species. There's another species in the southern geography called Mexican corn rootworm. You see it in Texas and some areas. But the central corn belt is the main area that we tend to see most corn rootworm damage. Um, we will also see it in some other states such as Indiana, Ohio, and up into Canada. But we predominantly think of corn rootworm the main area that it affects is that central corn mill. I would just encourage them to reach out to their local bear representative or their local seed dealer. We do have it available this year in uh, our bear brands, our, our seed brands. And so I would encourage them to reach out to their local retailers or their local reps to find out more information and uh, to learn about this exciting technology.